Now we're, we're getting towards the end. We have um, uh, some guys from the council going to join us, but before that we have uh, Afshin from Repowering. So if you can say hello to us, Afshin. Hello everyone. Um, I'm Afshin, I'm a, a practitioner. So <laughs> I know a lot of what we We've heard so far is around from the policy side of view. Um, Re, I'm co-founder, chief exec of Repairing. Repairing is based in Brixton, in in Lambeth. We've been there since 2011 and started off as a volunteer group, so very much lo local, very much a community organisation. Um, and we specialise in developing community energy projects. That is um, working with community members, helping them plan build and fund their low carbon projects in their in their local area and um, our vision is about putting people back at the heart of the energy system because there's this lack of trust in the in the way it works there's disengagement disempowerment uh, and by putting people back at the heart of the energy system we feel that there will be better outcomes for the consumers and, and people who are using um, and using the electricity or the gas the, the energy and the heat um, examples of what we do is, you know our projects because you might think what does community energy projects mean uh, what we do is work with community groups and we install solar panels on social housing estates maybe schools community buildings um, the solar panels are funded through community shares, so people can invest in these schemes themselves. And if uh, residents can't invest, not everyone is able to, they can simply join uh, the co-op as a member, you know, one pound membership, or just join in as a volunteer. And what we make sure is that surplus income from these projects remain in the local area, so they're ring-fenced community funds to provide benefit. So it's about creating a, a resilient model where money stays in the local economy, local residents benefit, we provide training, work experience for young people, for adults as well, so it's really about empowering, putting power in literal sense, power uh, in, in people's hands in terms of decision making, how money is spent, how benefits go back into the local area. Um, so why is this important from a climate change point of view? I think it's really, uh, climate change seems really far and distant sometimes and it can be quite daunting if you really, uh, you know, look at the urgency that, that's emerging right now. Um, and it can be, it can be as an individual, it can be disempowering, but when you come together, and that's the beauty about community energy projects, it brings and links individuals to collective action, that you can do so much more when you come together uh, as a group. So, for example, the projects that we've uh, installed solar panels on a community building or a social housing estate, as individuals, we might say that... <laughs> Sorry, let's try again. That might just be a blip. <laughs> Carry on, Afshin. Yeah, so you might not own your property, you might not have uh, enough funds to be able to benefit from this clean green revolution that is happening, but collectively you can come together and be able to see something tangible happen in your local area. So it, it's that element of linking individual to collective action. It's about connecting the global issues that we face around climate change, but making it local and relevant. It's practical action. It's doing something today, here and now in your own local community. And more importantly, it's really being just and fair. So what we try to do is really have an inclusive participation tree approach where everyone has a role to play and everyone has something to benefit from these projects. So community energy has an integral role uh, in engaging people, shifting behaviour, individual behaviour to help us get to that net zero target, to help us tackle climate change. Um, and my colleagues have very clearly articulated a lot of my asks that I was going to say, what are the key actions that we need to take? But the one that I'd like to, you know, that focuses on this community side of things, the people side of things, is really that local authorities, national government, technology partners, we need to work collaboratively and we need to work collaboratively with community organisations like uh, what Repairing does. There are many uh, across the country and it's really about working collaboratively because we are really best placed as 
trusted intermediaries uh, within those communities because we are led by people and local residents and able to shape solutions that are best catered for that particular context. Um, over last year, particularly, we've seen how community organisations have mobilised, galvanised and responded uh, and stepped in where national government and local government have, have failed because of lack of resources um, or lack of communication. And we really picked and filled that gap over last year. And uh, as a local organization, we spent a lot of time uh, in, in Lambeth uh, supporting residents who weren't able to, to top up their energy meters. And we helped distribute uh, emergency fuel vouchers. And that's a small example of what community groups can do. And uh, projects that have been established for a while, we use the funding, surplus funding from those projects to support that work as well. So making sure that money went to people who were most in need. So my plea really and um, key ask is really about that collaboration and not to forget the role and the power of community and cooperatives within the, the, the you know, ecosystem. And as individuals, my, uh, my uh, ask or request would be that get involved, get involved in your community, be the voice, see the change and be part of the change that you want in your local area. So do get actively involved in your communities and challenge the organizations you know we interface with our workplace the local school your church group or your different faith group you're visiting and interacting so many different stakeholders you know challenge them uh, as to what are they doing about their uh, electricity are they getting clean green you know clean electricity renewable electricity are they investing in their building and their energy efficiency and help them achieve their goals um so yeah i think uh, i agree with we need to think at scale we need to think big but we also need to act local brilliant actually thanks very much indeed so um before we go into questions very briefly i'm going to ask